everybody. This is Terry Nance. Welcome to the Armor Bear Awakening. I know that God's awakening your heart to serve and be be committed to your local church today. If you enjoy the broadcast, be sure and subscribe. Send it to someone right now. I mean, honestly, after you're finished, think of someone you can send this link to and tell them subscribe to it because I know what this will do in in their hearts and their lives and in your church. Send it to your pastor for sure. Also, if you enjoy the program and, and you're interested in becoming a mentor, I, uh, I want to, I have a mentoring course. I'd love to take you through. Go to godsarmorbear.com. We can talk about it. Then also, if you're interested in having me in your church, just be sure and go to the website, godsarmorbear.com, get the information. I am talking, uh, and I'm really teaching out of the book, God's Armor Bear for the Last Generation, because I really wanted to write something for this generation, the millennials and the Gen Zs. And this is on page 118, Armor Bears. This, we're, we're talking about the characteristic of an armor bear. This is what God looks for when he's looking for an armor bear. Armor bears exhibit excellence. Uh, Daniel 6, 3. Then this Daniel distinguished himself above the governors because of an excellent spirit that was in him. And the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. What, what the king saw in Daniel, it wasn't the outward appearance. It was an excellent spirit. Everything he did, he did in excellence. And you know, that is, I'm telling you, when it comes to really serving God and working in the local church, just do it with excellence. If, if you are a custodian, don't do it just because you feel like I'm obligated to do it. And even if you're being paid to do it, you do it with excellence. This is God's house. You you reverence and respect the house of God. And when you do that, you bless that place. When you go into uh, the nursery, you go into other places, just make sure it's clean, it's nice. Make sure the children's department is clean and nice. Uh, what is excellence? I want to talk about it. I'm, I'm reading right out of page 118. Natural talent and knowing your potential. An ut- Uncut diamond has a wealth of unrealized possibility and brilliance. There's going to be uh, a natural talent. There really will be. You you may have a talent to to sing, be a musician. You may have a talent man at computers. You may have a talent at design. There can be a natural talent. If you're called as a teacher, then you're going to have a gift to teach and to instruct. And so when you do that, when you, when you begin to use your talent, but you do it for Jesus, you do it and you do not compromise what happens. You begin to portray excellence. Listen to this. Here's another key of excellence. Invest yourself and believe in yourself. David knew the gift that he had and was not, Daniel knew the gift that he had and he was not ashamed of it. The gift led him into the lion's den but also moved him into promotion. Uh, not sure how funny it, that is, but if ministry were easy, everyone would do it. Uh, ministry's not easy because you're dealing with people and we're dealing with the brokenness of the emotions of people. And I'm going to tell you, man, it can be very, very challenging. I think in my life in ministry, and I started when I was 18 years old. So at this present moment, I've been in ministry since I, for 49 years. And, I mean, in those 49 years, I have come across, I think, just about everything. And the thing that grieves my heart, hurts my heart, is how broken people are and how much they need God in their life. And so, and we give ourselves, and you know what? Not everybody receives it. A lot of people reject it. But you have to understand what Jesus said, this kind of stuff is going to happen but I've called you to excellence. You do it with excellence. Excellence is integrity. When you have integrity, your word means everything. Uh, When you tell someone, hey, I'll be there such and such amount of time and they can set their clock to you. That's integrity. That's excellent. It also means passion. 
It speaks to all who are around you that you believe that God has called you to do something. The big yes in you is discovered through your passion. What are you passionate about? What is it that is driving you and moving you? That right there, that is where your yes is. And follow that passion. Run after that passion. Give into that passion. That passion promotes you. It's where it's your vein. It's, it's where you're, you're, you're living and it's your grace gift. And so God uses you for that in that grace gift. God uses you, uh, just to run with it. And so I just encourage you today. I encourage you just by faith, just get out there and start doing something and then discover your passion. Just remember your assignment is something you discover. It's not something you choose. So you're running, uh, doing things for God and you'll find your yes. Creativity and innovation. The creator of the universe dwells in you. Never say you can't, you can't, you don't have a creative thought. Bring your gift to your church and, and help make a difference. We need what you have to offer. Creativity come. God speaks to you. He shows you what to do in your, uh, in your office. Man, I was over the missions department of a church and we grew to a missionary sending agency. And the things that the Lord spoke to me, he spoke to me one day and, and I really felt, man, we need to believe God for property, uh, somewhere we could, uh, own it in, outside the United States and to raise up missionaries. Man, what a project. But I'm telling you, it came to pass. But God spoke to me. And then, of course, I set that vision down before the pastor. I set it down and I said, I want you to pray about this. And he came back, Terry, I believe this is the Lord. What do you got? And then we walked through it and we watched God do some really cool things. You have creative ability. You have the vision for your department. Don't go ask your pastor for the vision. You go get before the Lord. That's what excellence is all about. Be blessed today. I bless you in the name of Jesus and release the glory of God over your life.